Is your money really safe sitting in the bank? You might be surprised to learn the truth. Meet Mike. He thought keeping his money in the bank was the best way to grow his savings. But year after year, inflation was slowly eating away at his wealth. The reality is, the money you have in the bank today might not be worth the same tomorrow. Inflation erodes the purchasing power of your cash, meaning you can buy less with the same amount of money as time goes by. Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad Poor Dad, who argues that keeping your money in the bank is not only unwise, but also risky. He advocates for investing in assets that not only preserve, but grow your wealth over time. In today's video, we'll explore four assets that Robert Kiyosaki believes are better and safer than cash. Don't miss out on our upcoming analyses and tips. Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned on. Stay ahead in your financial journey. The Illusion of Bank Safety For decades, we've been conditioned to believe that banks are the safest place for our money. We trust the shiny vaults, the friendly tellers, and the FDIC insurance. But is our money truly safe? Mike, like many of us, placed his hard-earned cash in a savings account, confident that it was protected and would grow over time. But as months turned into years, he noticed something unsettling. His bank statements showed meager interest earnings, barely enough to keep up with inflation. Inflation is like a silent thief. While your money sits in the bank, inflation reduces its value. The purchasing power of your dollar diminishes year by year, meaning the same amount of money buys you less and less. Consider this. If the annual inflation rate is 3%, in just 10 years, the purchasing power of your money could decrease by nearly 30%. That's a significant loss for anyone relying on their savings. And then there are bank fees, maintenance fees, overdraft fees, ATM fees. These charges can chip away at your savings without you even realizing it. What you thought was a secure and growing nest egg turns out to be a slowly shrinking pool. But there's more. Remember the financial crisis of 2008? Banks that were deemed too big to fail required massive bailouts. Depositors faced uncertainty and panic, wondering if their savings were truly safe. Robert Kiyosaki warns us about these risks. He argues that relying solely on banks for financial security is a dangerous illusion. Instead, he encourages us to explore alternative assets that not only preserve our wealth, but also have the potential to grow it significantly. Introduction to Robert Kiyosaki's Philosophy Now that we've uncovered the risks of keeping your money in the bank, Let's explore a different perspective. Enter Robert Kiyosaki, a renowned financial educator and author of the best-selling book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. His philosophy on money and investing has revolutionized the way millions of people view their finances. Kiyosaki's journey began with two influential figures in his life, his rich dad and his poor dad. His biological father, the poor dad, followed the conventional path. Get a good education, secure a stable job, and save money in the bank. Despite his best efforts, he struggled financially and faced constant money worries. On the other hand, Kiyosaki's best friend's father, the rich dad, dropped out of school and pursued a different path. He focused on acquiring assets, understanding money, and making it work for him. This unconventional approach led him to substantial wealth and financial freedom. Kiyosaki learned early on that financial education is the key to financial success. He emphasizes the importance of understanding the difference between assets and liabilities. While liabilities take money out of your pocket, assets put money in. According to Kiyosaki, the traditional approach of working hard, saving money, and relying on the bank is flawed. He believes that true financial security and wealth come from investing in assets that generate passive income and appreciate over time. His philosophy challenges the status quo, urging us to think differently about money. He encourages us to become financially literate, take control of our finances, and seek opportunities to grow our wealth outside of the traditional banking system. But what are these assets that Kiyosaki champions? What investments can provide better security and growth than keeping cash in the bank? In the upcoming sections, we'll dive into four key assets that Kiyosaki believes are better and safer than cash. Stay with us as we reveal these transformative investment opportunities that can help you achieve financial independence and build lasting wealth. The Four Superior Assets
Now that we've set the stage with Robert Kiyosaki's philosophy, let's delve into the four superior assets that he recommends over keeping cash in the bank. These assets not only offer better security, but also have the potential for substantial growth and income generation. First up, we have real estate. Kiyosaki is a strong advocate for investing in real estate. Unlike cash sitting idle in a bank, real estate properties can generate steady rental income and appreciate over time. Whether it's residential, commercial, or rental properties, real estate offers numerous opportunities to build wealth. The second asset on our list is precious metals, such as gold and silver. Kiyosaki believes that precious metals are a hedge against inflation and economic uncertainty. While cash loses value over time due to inflation, gold and silver tend to retain their value, making them a safer store of wealth. Next, we have stocks. Investing in the stock market allows you to own a piece of a company and benefit from its growth and profits. Kiyosaki encourages investing in well-researched, high-quality stocks that offer dividends and long-term appreciation. This approach can significantly outperform the stagnant returns of a savings account. Finally, we have businesses. Owning a business or investing in startups can provide exceptional returns. Kiyosaki emphasizes the importance of entrepreneurship and acquiring or creating businesses that generate passive income. By building or investing in a business, you can leverage your skills and resources to achieve financial independence. These four assets, real estate, precious metals, stocks, and businesses, align with Kiyosaki's core principle of making your money work for you. Unlike cash in the bank, these investments have the potential to grow your wealth and provide financial security. But remember, investing in these assets requires financial education and due diligence. Kiyosaki stresses the importance of continuously learning and adapting to make informed investment decisions. In the next sections, we'll dive deeper into each of these assets, exploring how you can start investing and maximize their potential to achieve financial freedom. Stay tuned as we unlock the secrets to building a robust and secure financial future. Transitioning to Financial Freedom now that we've covered the four superior assets, you might be wondering how to begin this transition towards financial freedom. The journey requires strategic planning, education, and a proactive approach to managing your finances. First, it's crucial to assess your current financial situation. Take a close look at your income, expenses, savings, and existing investments. Understanding where you stand financially is the first step towards making informed decisions. Next, set clear and realistic financial goals. What do you want to achieve? Are you looking to generate passive income, build a retirement fund, or achieve financial independence? Having specific goals will guide your investment strategy and keep you focused on your path. Once you have your goals in place, start by diversifying your investments. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Spread your investments across real estate, precious metals, stocks, and businesses. Diversification helps mitigate risks and ensures a balanced portfolio. For those new to investing, begin with educating yourself. Read books, take courses, and follow reputable financial experts like Robert Kiyosaki. Financial literacy is a powerful tool that will help you make informed decisions and avoid costly mistakes. Building a network of mentors and like-minded individuals is also invaluable. Engage with people who share your financial aspirations and can provide guidance and support. Networking can open doors to investment opportunities and offer fresh perspectives on wealth-building strategies. Additionally, consider seeking professional advice. Financial advisors can help you create a personalized investment plan, optimize your portfolio, and navigate complex financial markets. They can offer insights tailored to your unique financial situation and goals. It's also important to stay disciplined and patient. Building wealth through these superior assets is a long-term game. Avoid the temptation to chase quick profits or make impulsive decisions. Consistency and patience are key to achieving sustained financial growth. Finally, always be prepared to adapt and evolve. Financial markets and opportunities are constantly changing. Stay informed about market trends, economic shifts, and new investment opportunities. Flexibility and adaptability will keep you ahead in your journey to financial freedom.
By transitioning from traditional banking to investing in these superior assets, you're taking a proactive step towards securing your financial future. Remember, the road to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. With the right mindset, education, and strategy, you can achieve the financial independence you desire. Actionable Steps Congratulations on making it this far. You're now equipped with the knowledge of why keeping cash in the bank may not be the best strategy and the potential of superior assets. But how do you put this knowledge into action? Here are some actionable steps to get you started on your journey to financial freedom. Step 1. Educate yourself. Begin by immersing yourself in financial education. Read books by Robert Kiyosaki, such as Rich Dad Poor Dad and Cashflow Quadrant. Explore online courses, watch financial literacy videos, and follow credible financial blogs and podcasts. Knowledge is your most powerful tool. Step 2. Assess your financial situation. Take a detailed look at your current finances. Calculate your net worth by listing all your assets and liabilities. This will give you a clear picture of your financial health and help you identify areas for improvement. Step 3. Set financial goals. Define your financial objectives. Are you saving for a home, planning for retirement, or aiming for financial independence? Setting clear, achievable goals will guide your investment decisions and keep you motivated. Step 4. Create a budget. Develop a budget that aligns with your financial goals. Track your income and expenses and identify areas where you can save more or cut unnecessary costs. A well-planned budget ensures you live within your means while investing for the future. Step 5. Start small and diversify. Begin investing with the resources you have. Diversify your investments to spread risk. Allocate funds to real estate, precious metals, stocks, and business ventures. Remember, diversification is key to a stable and resilient portfolio. Step 6. Invest in real estate. Research real estate opportunities in your area. Consider purchasing rental properties, commercial real estate, or even REITs, real estate investment trusts. Real estate can provide steady income and long-term appreciation. Step 7. Explore precious metals. Invest in gold, silver, or other precious metals. These assets act as a hedge against inflation and economic uncertainty. You can buy physical metals or invest in ETFs and mutual funds that focus on precious metals. Step 8. Enter the stock market. Start investing in the stock market. Look for undervalued stocks, dividend-paying companies, and growth opportunities. Consider index funds or ETFs for a diversified approach. Remember, investing in stocks requires patience and a long-term perspective. Step 9. Consider business ventures. If you have an entrepreneurial spirit, explore business opportunities. This could be starting your own business, investing in startups, or buying existing businesses. Businesses can generate significant returns if managed well. Step 10. Seek professional advice. Consult with a financial advisor to create a personalized investment strategy. They can help you understand your risk tolerance, optimize your portfolio, and navigate complex financial decisions. Step 11. Network and learn from others. Connect with like-minded individuals and mentors. Join investment groups, attend financial seminars, and participate in online forums. Networking provides valuable insights and can open doors to new opportunities. Step 12. Stay informed and adapt. Keep up with market trends, economic news, and investment opportunities. Financial markets are dynamic, and staying informed helps you adapt your strategy as needed. Flexibility and continuous learning are crucial for long-term success. By following these actionable steps, you can transition from traditional banking to a diversified portfolio of superior assets. This proactive approach will set you on the path to financial freedom and security. Remember, every small step you take today brings you closer to achieving your financial goals. In the final section, we'll recap the key points and leave you with a motivational message to inspire your journey. And there you have it. We've journeyed through the concept of why keeping cash in the bank might not be the safest bet, explored Robert Kiyosaki's philosophy on financial freedom, delved into four superior assets, and laid out actionable steps to take control of your financial future. To recap, we discussed how inflation and low interest rates erode the value of your cash in the bank. We learned from Robert Kiyosaki 
that true financial security comes from investing in assets that grow and generate income. We explored the benefits of real estate, precious metals, stocks, and business ventures, each offering unique advantages in building and preserving wealth. We also provided a detailed roadmap with practical steps to transition from traditional savings to a diversified investment portfolio. By educating yourself, assessing your financial situation, setting goals, budgeting, starting small and diversifying, you're well on your way to achieving financial independence. Remember, the journey to financial freedom is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay committed to your goals, continually educate yourself, and remain adaptable to changes in the financial landscape. Surround yourself with knowledgeable individuals, seek professional advice when needed, and always keep learning. Financial freedom is within your reach. It starts with the decision to take control of your finances and the willingness to take action. You have the power to build a secure and prosperous future for yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of financial wisdom inspired by Robert Kiyosaki. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with others who can benefit from this knowledge. Leave a comment below with your thoughts or any questions you have. We'd love to hear from you.